you know, I'm rarely surprised at things I hear from college football fans anymore. I've been doing this for so long now. I, I can almost uh, anticipate the types of comments and reactions I'm going to get from certain fan bases based on either certain videos I make or certain pieces of news that come out or whatever. And man, such is the case for the Alabama man right now. Um, I, I don't blame Alabama fans in general for running around pretending to be excited about Tommy Reese and uh, I can't even say it with a straight face. Tommy Reese and Kevin Steele. I don't blame them because th this is just what fans do. Everything is perfect um, until proven otherwise. So I believe me, I get it. Um, I completely understand it. Um, with that being said, though, there's not a single Alabama fan on planet Earth who was running around a week ago going, man, I sure do hope we get Tommy Reese and Kevin Steele. No. No, uh, I heard a bunch of names mentioned by Alabama fans. None of them sounded anything like Tommy Reese or Kevin Steele. I personally am not impressed with either one of these hires. The best defense I've seen of Tommy Reese by an Alabama fan is that, well, you know, he's, he's, a, a, young, he's a young and upcoming offensive mind. Yeah, you know who hires young and upcoming unproven offensive minds? Unproven teams and unproven coaching staffs. This is just not the type of hire you expected from somebody like a Nick Saban. You would assume um, that a, a team like Alabama, a head coach like Nick Saban, um, a, a, an institution like the University of Alabama, given where they're at in the landscape of college football right now, would be able to go out and pretty much handpick whoever they wanted for either coordinator position. And that just did not happen in this case. Now, whether Tommy Reese and Kevin Steele end up being the best coordinators Alabama's ever had or the worst coordinators Alabama's ever had, the fact remains the same that these were not first choices. People actually turned these jobs down. Um, you're kind of now stuck with Tommy Reese and Kevin Steele. And I, I know Kevin Steele was at Alabama. I think he was there two different times, going all the way back to when Saban first got there. And he's kind of bounced around. He was at Auburn for a while. He was at Clemson for a while. And I didn't go well at all at Clemson. He's one of like, I think, only two or three people to ever be fired by Dabo Swinney. Not good there. But it's just not a splash hire. Um, you, you, there was a bunch of names batted around, whether you want to talk about media reports or sort of fan wish lists, right? None of it came true, and multiple people turned these jobs down. Todd Grantham didn't want the job. It's embarrassing that Alabama was even willing to hire Todd Grantham as defensive coordinator. I don't know if there's a defensive coordinator in the country who's, who's been given more chances to fail than Todd Grantham. Um, he was at Georgia, disaster. No, no, we couldn't stand him. He was at Florida, disaster. They couldn't stand him. Now he's, I guess he's on Alabama staff now. They interviewed him for the defensive coordinator position. He doesn't want it. He's looking to get out and go to the NFL or whatever. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Offensive coordinator. You want to talk about young and upcoming? Uh, how about the offensive coordinator at Washington? But he's proven. Look what Washington did last year offensively. It was unbelievable. He gave you one of these. That's bad. That's bad. I heard Dan Mullen's name batted around. Dan Mullen actually gave a statement that he wasn't interested in the job. I don't know whether he was interviewed or offered the job. I don't believe that he was. But the point is, he came out and said he didn't want it. Um, Jeremy Pruitt was a name that got batted around all over the place by both fans and media outlets. Why y'all would want that type of negative attention in Tuscaloosa is beyond me. But to be honest, of all the names I heard, he's, he's the best defensive mind of them all. Um, but of course he comes with a lot of baggage based on what happened his last couple of years as head coach at Tennessee with all the, um, sanctions and, uh, McDonald's bags and buying players and things like that. So, um, you know, it, I, I guess the word on the street, uh, so, so the best defense of Tommy Reese is, well, he's young and upcoming, you know, he's a young and upcoming. Okay. That means he hasn't done anything. Notre Dame's offense was horrible last year. Putrid, terrible. Um, Notre Dame was a disaster last year, and Tommy Reese was a big reason why. I listen, I listened to uh, Notre Dame fans complain about Tommy Reese all year long last year. Horrible. Not a good hire. Not a good hire. And Alabama fans say, well, yeah, but he's going to have more talent to work with at Alabama than he had anywhere else. Well, by that argument, you can hire any offensive coordinator on the planet. 
Nobody's going to have more offensive talent than uh, Alabama has. They're the most talented team in the country year in and year out. So you might as well go out and just get the worst offensive coordinator in the country because he's going to have more talent in Alabama, woo. Uh, that's the best defense I've heard of Tommy Reese. The best defense I've heard of uh, uh, Kevin Steele is, well, he's just an interim guy until the league can get Jeremy Pruitt cleared and we can hire him next year. The point is, even Alabama fans are struggling to hype up these two low-rent, mediocre hires that Alabama has made at the coordinator um, position. Now, look, we've seen Nick Saban and Alabama turn coordinators over pretty much every other year for a decade with little to no impact on performance on the field. But the one thing that I just can't understand for the life of me is the, the, the segment of Alabama fans that's running around right now telling me, Lou, you really think it matters who the coordinators are? We got Nick Saban. As long as we got Nick Saban, we're going to be just fine, Woo. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, hey, can I ask you something, dummy? How come you spent the entire last season saying that the only reason you sucked was because of Pete Golding and Bill O'Brien, and I can't wait till we fire them so we can get decent offensive coordinators in here and get back to winning? If it doesn't matter who the coordinators are, then why were you crying into your golden flakes nonstop last year about Pete Golding and Bill O'Brien? Of course it matters who your coordinators are. Dummy, you can't now turn around just because you swung and missed on every decent coordinator on the planet and hired two Johnny-come wannabes at, 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 at each coordinator position to now all of a sudden start pretending that coordinators don't matter after you spent all last year blaming your coordinators for the fact that you couldn't beat Tennessee or LSU. You gave up 50-something points to Tennessee. You blamed it on Pete Golding. Now you're telling me it doesn't matter who the defensive coordinator is. You're about retarded is what you are. You're about retarded. Of course it matters. Um, I'm not at all impressed with these two coordinator hires. Again, again, it could turn out it, they could turn out great. Anytime you change coaches, whether it's head coach, coordinators, or position coaches, anytime you change coaches, it's a crapshoot. You can go out and hire the most proven offensive coordinator in the country, doesn't necessarily mean it'll work for you. You can go out and hire the most proven DC in the country. Doesn't necessarily mean it'll work for you. And you can go out and hire a nobody OC, and maybe it will work, a nobody DC, and maybe it will work. There's always a certain percentage of just we don't know how it's going to go. And that's the case here with these two. And honestly, if you're an Alabama fan, um, that's really the only thing you can hang your hat on. Well, maybe they'll be good. Yeah, maybe, but these aren't splash hires. These are not the types of hires you expect from somebody like Nick Saban. These are not the types of hires you expect from a program that's in the position that it is uh, like Alabama is. I mean, you look at Clemson. They had to replace a coordinator. They go out and get Garrett Riley. That's a splash hire. That's a proven commodity there. Um, Tommy Reese, absolute doo-doo.